It's Theo from Theo's Tech Tips, and in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a bootable Windows 10 USB on Ubuntu. Let's get started. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our web browser, and we're going to type in download Windows 10 ISO. Click on the first result. And we're going to select Windows 10 Multi Edition ISO. Then we're going to choose English. And then we're going to click 64 bit download. And it's going to start downloading. So once that's done downloading, we can grab our USB, open up terminal, and we are going to paste the command that is in the description. And this will install the XFAT partitioning system onto our computer. So we're going to click enter. We're going to enter our password. And I already have it installed, so it just tells me it's at the latest version. But once it's installed, we could close this, open up disks, and we're going to click the three dots and click format. We're going to choose don't overwrite existing data because it's a lot faster but you want to make sure that your USB is already empty. And then we're going to click Compatible with All Systems Advices, MBR slash DOS. We're going to click Format, and then we're going to click Format. And as you can see, we now have a bunch of free space that we could use to create partitions. So what we're going to do now is we're going to click Plus. We're going to make sure it's on the max. I'm going to click Next. We're going to give it a name like USB. And we're going to choose other because fat only allows four gigabytes. And if you watch my previous video on making a bootable Windows 10 USB on a Mac, you can see that it'll get a little bit complicated if you choose fat. So we're going to click other, click next, and we're going to choose X fat right here. So we're going to click that. We're going to click create. And as you can see, our partition is created and the USB will now be mounted. So it says right over here USB. And this is now an XFAT disk. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go to files. We're going to click downloads to get that file we downloaded. And as you can see, it is in an ISO. So we need to open this up. So we could just double click it to open it with disk image mounter. And we're going to open up our disk image. We're going to select all these contents and we're going to drag them to USB. And as you can see on our USB over here, everything is copied. So that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. I'm Theo from Theo's Tech Tips and I'll see you next time. Bye.